Ever since Cobra Kai came out, dozens of people asked me on my take on it. Many people were curious if I consider Cobra Kai's training methods more realistic and if the series makes sense at all. Well today I will finally answer these questions by taking a look at 5 things in Cobra Kai that does make sense and 5 things that do. Let's start with the big one. Wax on, wax off. In second season, Daniel's student Dimitri explains the idea behind wax on, wax off and other Miyagi-Do's child labor practices. He's probably repeating LaRusso's own explanation to him, that it's all about getting down the movements into muscle memory. While this approach kinda makes sense in theory, in reality it would fail. Fighting isn't just about doing repetitive movements. Our brain functions in different ways under different circumstances. It's worth bringing up a famous phrase by Bruce Lee. If you want to learn to swim, jump into the water. On dry land, no frame of mind is going to help you. Painting the fence and waxing on and off is very different from being attacked. When you're actually being punched at, adrenaline and stress kicks in. Strikes will come at you from various unpredictable angles with resistance and changing pace. If your brain is not used to defending under these circumstances, no amount of waxing on and waxing off will help you. Yet in the show, after a bunch of painting the fence and standing, LaRusso starts to attack his students intensely and they manage to right away defend themselves. Well, maybe not Dimitri, but it still works out for him eventually. Meanwhile, in Cobra Kai, we see much more sparring, which is probably the most quickest way to learn fighting. This is also an approach which makes much more sense. To follow up on my first point about waxing, something similar can be said about Miyagi-Do's emphasis on kata or solo movements. An appropriate statement here is that you will become good at exactly what you will be doing. In other words, if you'll mostly be doing choreographed solo movements, that's what you will become good at, not fighting. To make things worse, the katas in Miyagi-Do are highly stylized, which would make you even less familiar with actual fighting, since most of the practiced movements would never occur in a fight. If you want to become good at fighting, that's what you should be doing, or at least training in a way which would get you as close as possible to a fighting experience, such as for example, sparring. Yet in the show, by mostly doing kata and other solo movements, Miyagi-Do's main student, Robbie, somehow becomes a kick-ass fighter. He ends up performing great at his first tournament, which brings me to another point. Now the following trope is very common in movies, but I still must point it out. Both Robbie, Miguel, and the rest of the Cobra Kai become amazing in karate in less than one year. They defeat former participants and champions who trained for much longer than they did. In reality, training experience makes a big difference. That can be said even more so in learning something as complicated and stylized as karate, which usually takes much longer to learn too. At the same time, Cobra Kai's training methods are much more contemporary than that of traditional karate. It not only includes a lot of sparring, but also contemporary striking akin to boxing, which if you'll check some videos on YouTube, you'll soon figure out, is more superior than traditional karate striking. Having that in mind, maybe Cobra Kai students would be able to defeat more experienced but more stylized karate students. But that still doesn't really explain Robbie's successful performance. And speaking of the tournament, how come everyone is suddenly a black belt? Another thing that doesn't make sense. After giving it more thought though, maybe the tournament gives out black belts to everyone so that the rank wouldn't be known and it would be an absolute division for everyone. I mean, clearly weight difference isn't taken into account there and there's no difference in gender fights. But to put everyone in the same basket despite their experience, gender or weight, especially given the intensity of the fights presented in the show, is still kind of extreme, don't you think? Now my personal favorite thing in Cobra Kai that does make sense is part of the Cobra Kai's creed and that is strike first. Not striking first and emphasizing defense is a common tradition in martial arts. It aims to promote etiquette and non-aggression. Yet in reality, waiting for someone else to strike you in a self-defense situation is one of the worst things you can do. Striking first gives you a great advantage. It creates an element of surprise and is almost impossible to defend from. Yet standing, waiting for someone else to strike, even when it's clear that things are about to go down, may decrease your chances of getting out of the situation unharmed dramatically. To be fair, not rushing to strike first can give you a chance to talk yourself out of a situation or find some other creative solution. That's why it's important to not just rush kicking ass every chance you get. But still, if you'll ask me, Cobra Kai's strike first makes much more sense than Miyagi-Do's never strike first. Now I'm not saying that Cobra Kai is perfect. A couple of things that do not make sense, although some martial arts schools do these things even in reality, is sparring full contact without protection, including kicks to the head that make people spin in the air. Such sparring wouldn't last long and would lead to a lot of injuries, including short-lived karate careers which would end in brain damage. But it is also important to note that this is a TV show. They need to make things flashy and entertaining. High-level realism should not be expected from it. 
Yet that doesn't mean we shouldn't turn our critical thinking on to realize what makes sense and what doesn't. I bet you that hundreds, if not thousands of people tried out Cobra Kai's presented methods, expecting to get the same results. But critical thinking shouldn't prevent you from enjoying the show either. 